What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. Chris here. As I promised, in this video we have a step-by-step -step tutorial on making an adjustable CDI. This CDI has a two separate output for trigger, 12 degrees and 36 degrees, which can adjust it by R3 resistor. Other features of this CDI is easy to make, can be installed on the two trigger and one trigger motorcycles it's work without battery and it's for two stroke and four stroke engines join me in this tutorial making a variable cdi for first time on youtube let's build it well for make this cdi we need these parts a tire stood BT151, its voltage and current tolerance is 600 volt and 12 ampere B1, a dude bridge with 600 volt and 1.5 and ampere resistors R1, 27 kilo ohm. R2 330 ohm. R3 is a potentiometer. You must use a high quality potentiometer. 10 kilo ohm. R4 27 ohm. R5 47 kilo ohm. D1 and D2 is a rectifier diode 4007 and finally capacitors except C3 capacitors the older capacitors are placer and they have no polarity C1 1 microfarad and 400 volt a polyester capacitor you can use also MKT capacitors. C2 is a 100 and 50 volt. C3 is a electrolyte capacitor which have a polarity. And C4 is a 22 nanofarad and 200 volt. Well, let's to draw the diagram. We need a PCB board here in 4 and 7 cm. First, we draw the actual size of the board and parts on the paper and then we place the part on it in this way. Remember that this tutorial is in a way that even beginner can make it. Well, we have a capacitor C1 here. A diode bridge. C4 capacitor. R4 resistor we have a tire to here this is a cathode base anode base and the gate R1 here C2 R2 resistor D1 diode with a negative with a black line we have a potentiometer here and C3 
C3 is a electrolyte capacitor which have a polarity, the positive base here. And finally, we have a D2. This is a negative base. We have an extra point here. I explain later. Now, one side of the C1 capacitor go to the ignition coil. And other side, first, go to the kill switch and this is a positive of the diode bridge and this is negative after passing the positive go to the C4 capacitor and from there go to the anode of the trirester other side of the capacitor C4 go to the R4 resistor and from there go to the negative base this is the ground we have a ground here too all ground must install together this black line is a ground cut out of the tire sir and negative of the bridge and this base of the bridge do it and install together and from there cut out and R1 all connect the negative or ground the other side of the R1 go to the C2 and from there go to the R2 other side of the C2 go to the negative base and the gate of the tyrosur and install the R1 other side we have R3 is a potentiometer this is a number here one two three one and two base connect together from there go to the negative of the C3 capacitor the positive of the C3 capacitor go to the 3 base of the R3 potentiometer and from there go to the negative to the D2 We have an extra point here. I explain later. And after crossing the extra point, go to the negative of the D1, and from there go to the R2. The positive of the D1 go to the trigger pickup. This is the second output, 12 daggers. The positive of the D2, go to the first dagger pickup. It's a uh, 36 degrees. Trigger output one is a high RPM. Second trigger output is a low rpm this base of the diet bridge is a ac from a stator and finally the r5 resistor is placed between these two points
the diagram is complete and let's go to build this PCB Well, our CDA is ready, but about this point, I said I will explain. This place for a jumper. A jumper installed here. We need a two pin. Put on the board. And solder that's it installing a jumper allow you to adjust sensitivity according to the pickup coil to 
36 degrees this way in fact by installing jumper here it's possible to change the sensitivity of the 36 degrees output with R3 resistor, it's a transmitter. If your motorcycle has a one pickup only, you should use this outlet, 36 degrees, and this jumper. The advance of this CDI is not a continuous and jump from the low RPM to high RPM. The sensitivity of these jumps can be adjusted with R3 resistor. The advanced range is between 2000 and 8000. In general, use the 36 degrees output for motorcycle with only one pickup and the bus outlet for motorcycle with two pickup. Now let's try it on motorcycle. Now my old motorcycle are single trigger. Remove the original CDI. This CDI don't need a battery. Connect the wires according the diagram. First, I use 36 degrees trigger output now we're gonna start and check the spark with 36 degrees output Listen the sound. Check. This is the end of the transmitter. Now we try another output. The 12 degrees output. And let's see how it works. reached the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial for a better understanding of the sensitivity and outputs it's better to test the motorcycle at higher rpms i leave the other test to you if you build it yourself make sure to share your experience with me if you have any question or feedback leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.